So initially, I wasn't even going to post this video on the COVID-19 pandemic and its impact on dentistry, as it seemed like the vaccines were helping get things under control. But here comes the Delta variant, and cases are starting to spike again in all 50 states, especially among the unvaccinated. And now we're even hearing of a Lambda variant that might be resistant to vaccines. Wonderful. So I decided to dig this video out of the archives, and I hope you guys get some valuable information out of it, even if some of the things mentioned may no longer be current. Enjoy. Is it just me, or does it seem like we're getting changing and conflicting advice on this coronavirus almost on a daily basis? We're open. We're closed. Do this, but not that. Wear your mask. No, wear two masks. We don't have to wear masks any longer. We're bringing masks back. It's exhausting, isn't it? Well, wait, what about my doctor's office? I really need to see a dentist. Can I go? Is it safe? Do I have to get tested first? All good questions. Let's talk about that and more in today's video. Hello again, folks, and welcome to today's video. My name is Dr. Kenneth Goods, and I'm a retired dentist from the state of South Carolina here in the US. Look, I realize that everyone is doing the best they can with this stubborn pandemic, but let's face it, I'm tired, you're tired, we all want this to be over with. But one question I get asked all the time is, I really need to see my dentist, but I'm scared. Is it safe to go? The short answer is a resounding yes, and I'll explain shortly. You know, back when this virus really started ramping up over one year ago, the American Dental Association recommended that dentists prohibit any elective procedures, which was wise in my opinion. Things like cleanings and exams, x-rays, teeth whitening, any cosmetic procedures, checkups for braces, uh, that small cavity that wasn't hurting, stuff like that. Some states took that further and mandated that any procedure that, if delayed, would not place the patient's immediate health or well-being at risk, or worsen a serious life-threatening condition, be prohibited. Now, this was done for two main reasons. Number one, to allow patients experiencing true dental emergencies access to treatment by dentists, thereby not overwhelming hospital emergency rooms. And number two, because there was a severe shortage of the personal protective equipment, the PPP we keep hearing about all the time, with masks and surgical gloves being prime examples, which were needed by our frontline workers in hospitals and emergency rooms. Okay, let's talk about the safety of the dental office during the pandemic. Ever since the AIDS scare back in the mid 80s involving a dentist, the dental profession has been experts in infection control and have been pioneers when it comes to using universal precautions. That means treating all human blood and certain body fluids, such as saliva, as if they were known to be infectious and avoiding contact with those fluids by the use of medical gloves, goggles, face shields, gowns, etc. In short, Dental offices maintain the highest standards of care around. You know, a survey by the American Dental Association from around late 2020 indicated that at that time, less than 1% of dentists nationwide had tested positive for COVID-19. Far less than any other health professionals, even though dentistry was named one of the most at-risk professions for infection. Experts say that because of all these safety procedures and disinfectant practices dental offices have been used for decades, that it was safe. But even with such stringent infection control measures already in place, don't be surprised to see even more procedures in place as an added measure of caution now that we find ourselves in the midst of this pandemic. Okay, so what are some of the things you can expect when visiting your dentist and bear in mind that there will be differences from office to office. Number one, expect to be pre-screened before your appointment to make sure you're feeling well and are not experiencing any symptoms. Let your dental office know if you start feeling ill with COVID-19 symptoms within 14 days of your appointment. You could have been carrying the virus at that time and possibly have spread it to other people. You might even be asked for your vaccination status. Number two, Expect longer wait times for your appointments. With social distancing requirements, 
Dental offices simply cannot have a reception room full of patients waiting to be seen by the dentist or hygienist, and as such, appointments get spread out. Number three, expect to see one or more of the following. Fewer reception room chairs that are now six feet apart. You may even be asked not to come early for your appointment or to wait in the parking lot until your dental office texts you to come inside. Number four, don't expect to see any magazines or toys in the reception room. Number five, expect to have your temperature taken. Number six, expect to see hand sanitizer stations all over the office. Number seven, masks, masks, and more masks on everyone. Number eight, you might be asked to rinse with hydrogen peroxide before any procedure gets started. Number nine, you might notice new equipment installed in the office, such as HEPA filters to help purify the air or more powerful suction units at the chair side to reduce the spread of aerosols. And number 10, you may get a follow-up call from your dentist wanting to know how you're feeling as a precaution for the purpose of contact tracing. That is to help determine if you might have been in contact with someone who might have had the virus. And by all means, tell your dentist if you have COVID-19 or think you do. Folks, I know this past year and a half has been a real hassle. It seems like we take two steps forward and one step back. Our vaccination rates are not where our health experts want them to be. Mask mandates are being reconsidered again. And who knows, this may be our new normal. But rest assured, the overwhelming number of dental offices out there have always had your health and well-being as their top priority and will continue to do so, pandemic or not. Well, folks, let's wrap up today's video. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. And if you found this video helpful, would you do me a favor of liking this video? And please consider subscribing for more informational videos on Dentistry Made Simple. Bye-bye. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you found this video helpful. We're not out of the woods yet, so we still need to be cautious and exercise common sense. Look, I realize the vaccines are a touchy subject as of late, but I would encourage all of you to talk to your doctor so that you can make an educated decision about what is right for you, your family, and your neighbor. Take care, everyone, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye-bye.